Hello everyone, my name is Veronica and I'm responsible for business development for digitalization of drive technology at Siemens. And I'm joined today by my colleague Frank Peto. Hi. Who's the portfolio manager for simulation as well as the product manager for Synamics Drives and Basic, our first drive simulation solution which we have launched recently. And this is the first video of a short series on everything you need to know about Synamic Stripes and Basic. And in this video, we want to share with you what you can do with Synamic Stripes and Basic, how it integrates into your workflow and why you need it. So without further ado, uh, we're starting with the first question. So Frank, why is it a good idea as a machine builder to add drive simulation to your toolbox. Hey Veronica, thanks. Um, yeah, as a machine builder, as well as a system integrator, you, you have several challenges or activities to, to bring your system, hopefully with our Synamics drive online. And um, two of these um, activities or challenges we want to address um, with drive some basic and help our customers. So first of all, um, Machine builders have a, a very long development and engineering phases, which require high upfront engineering costs. That's the one we want to address with Drive Some Basics. The second challenge is they often don't know the exact behavior of their system. And so they need to do a lot of testing and adjustment, which can cost time, money, and this impact the process of commissioning. And that's the other one we want to address with Drive Some Basic. So in these challenges, um, simulation comes to play. It is typically needed when projects become more and more complex. The earlier in the design stage that you identify that issue, the cheaper is, uh, and easier it is to fix. So with Synamics Drives and Basic, we are providing a logical and a functional digital twin of the Synamics Drive system. And so you can test the performance of the uh, Siemens drives under real conditions right at the design and planning stage. And that makes, yeah, needed corrections quite easy. Yeah, um, more specifically, by by adding Synamics um, drives and basic to your engineering toolbox, you get answers to two questions: How can you verify and validate the communication between the drives and the PLC? And how can you verify and validate that the instructions the PLC is giving the drives are correctly interpreted? As a result, you will have less testing efforts, shorter en engineering cycles and lose a much faster time to market. And hopefully we will shorten the precious time during commission uh, commis commissioning at the customers on site. Okay, so to summarize with Synamics Drives and Basic, machine builders will have less testing efforts and shorter engineering cycles. And as a result, a faster time to market. That sounds great. So how exactly does Dynamic Drives and Basic achieve that? With Drives and Basic, users and customers no longer have to generate Dynamics Drive simulations uh, manually, but they rather have access to simulation models which are verified and validated against the real Dynamics Drive at the press of a button. Our approach was to create these models in line with the well-known Synamics function diagrams to give you the confidence that your drive will have the same behavior in the real world as in the simulation world. Our models come in the form of a so-called functional mock-up unit, um, referring as FMU. That's a standardized file format, which is very easy to use. And the great benefit is that they are compatible to all standard time-based simulation tools such as our own Simit, SimCenter, Amazon, and even third-party solutions like MATLAB Simulink, for instance. And there are much more. Our FMU can simply be imported into these tools, for which we have prepared a separate video and you are ready to go, but later to that one. All right, I understand that these FMUs are very user-friendly, which makes Synamics Drives and Basic a great entry point for drive simulation. So once the FMU is imported into your simulation tool, what can you do with it? Yeah, to emphasize, Drives and Basic 
is really the starting point to a consistent model-based development process, process as it can seamlessly interact with other virtual cinema solutions like PLC Sim, Advance, or NX Mechatronic Concept Designer, and even a couple of more. I will give you, let's say, two examples how you can benefit from simulation-based engineering. Let's say you are an automation designer. You are designing a machine or a system and you want to make sure your PLC code works with your Cinemix drives and that there are no surprises when you build a physical machine. You write your PLC code in a tier portal and connect it via PLC Sim Advance to Simit. In Simit, you simulate then your logical domain, which includes drives in basic. The mechanical application signals of the drive that can be transferred for a co-simulation into yeah, NX MCD to visualize how the mechanical aspects work uh, together very well. The second use case is to provide load characteristics of your selected drive and sizing before you really define a specific control unit. The application model in that use case um, is in the simulation tool, uh, in the simulation tool can be driven with just the control part of the drive by the highly configurable drives in basic. So with or without an interaction of the PLC sim advanced. Because drives in basic is control unit agnostic. It doesn't matter which control uh, unit. It produces load profiles according to the constraints of the user and the capability of the application model. These load characteristics like torque or speed cost can then import it directly to Sizer for a selection of the proper control unit, your converter and the motor which fits best your specific demand. By the way, for this tool we will provide separate videos which show you step by step how to perform these examples. Okay, thanks. Yeah, these two examples really show how drive simulation shortens the time to market while increasing the quality. So yeah, I think um, really looking forward to these other videos that show this in more detail. And I have also heard of ProfiDrive library in Simit. So yeah, I wonder what is the difference to Cinemix drives in basic? Yeah, I've heard that a couple of times, but that, right, there are some drive models available in Simit, but there are some essential differences and different focus. So the Simit Profi Drive library is for interaction of a Profi Drive enabled drive with focus on the fulfillment of the inputs of the PLC with plausible signals according to the Profi Drive standard, just out of the box within Simit. But it has no intention of simulating the exact drive behavior. So there is the difference. And in a nutshell, um, drives and basic can easily coexist with Simit and has the difference. It's validate, uh, validated against the real Cinemics drive and using parameters as a real drive. So the user will get more detailed insight of the drive behavior. Secondly, um, we speak about sampling rates. Simit as of now has one milliseconds, whereas a real drive has uh, 60, 2.5 microseconds. And last, drive sim basic is not for using only with Simit. It can be used with other tools as well. So the compatibility uh, with other simulation tools is, a is another main difference. So I'm pretty sure we can easily coexist. And in some paths, like the uh, described uh, workflow with MCD, we can even benefit from each other. Okay, thanks. Now. Where can customers get Cinemix Drives in Basic and where can they find even more information? Yeah, it's easy to find uh, Drives in Basic in the Siemens Industry Online Support CEOs. There you can um, download the FMU and with a small fee just for the licensing, uh, less than five euro, you are able to um, activate it. And if you have further questions on that, just go to our website siemens.com slash slash digital minus drives or you can directly write us a question to digitalization dot drives at siemens.com but I guess we will link that emails afterwards to the video. Yeah. Yeah so thanks a lot Frank. So to summarize my key 
three takeaways are that dynamic stress and basic is available as a functional mock-up unit and therefore it is highly compatible with various simulation tools. Then you have validated the behavior against the real Synamics firmware and this guarantees accurate results. And my third takeaway is that more features, parameters and telegrams will come to Drive Sim Basic in the future and that yeah, we should stay tuned and have an eye on our website. So thanks once again and see you soon, Frank, in one of our next videos. So. Goodbye. Thanks for having me. Bye.